Hey guys, I'm Jeff Martinez from the Track Shack. And I'm Alex Marl with Resolute Running. Jeff, it's race week. This yep. weekend is Mercedes weekend. It's the 5K, it's the half, it's the full, it's the relay. The whole city's running in downtown Birmingham, which is awesome. Yep. It's also taper, <laughs> and that makes people crazy. So today I want to talk a little bit about the last week leading into your race, tapering, how you handled it, and let's also talk about goals a little bit. Mm -hmm. And I'd like to use you as, a, as an example because you ran Chattanooga last fall. You had a great race. Yep. So let's talk about that last week re leading into your race. What did you do? Well, first of all, tapering stinks. Nobody likes it. It's you, you go full force this whole time with your training, and then all of a sudden you tell your body to back off, and it just messes with your mind. Sure. So, uh, I, I remember in college also going through tapering weeks where I didn't feel like I was doing enough and, and I would panic a little bit and, and you always feel like crap during that week. Getting and fat and slow. Exactly, and yeah, yeah, all that yeah. stuff. None of that stuff is happening. You're actually doing the right thing. Absolutely. It just feels different and messing with your head. Right. So uh, I basically had to remember that and ignore it and, and, and actually pay attention to uh, the actual taper and do what's on the schedule and, and, and really focus on that. Very nice. And so as you're getting to the line to start your race, you've been working out, you've been doing your training, if your training has been on point and you have a goal in mind, but you feel good, should you go more aggressive or you go after that goal? Well, I think that that's a race situation. Uh, you know, what I had to do was I focused on a, an easy pace to start and was going to gradually increase my pace, basically not knowing how I was gonna feel in those latter miles. Uh, so I felt great towards the end, so I really got aggressive towards the end. And, and, so, picked it up. and I picked it up. And I think that that's a, a race time decision. I think you've got to judge the conditions. You've got to judge how you feel uh, right before. And, you know, as you get into the race, you know, make that decision. Sure. But don't go into it saying, I'm going to be aggressive today because right. I feel great because I think you'll pay for that. And then the flip side of that, and one last point we'll talk on is a little dose of realism. Let's say you've missed a lot of training. Maybe you've been dealing with a nagging injury and you show up on the race line the idea that you can achieve your goal, even though your training hasn't been there, is kind of one that's, uh, you know, you want to be careful, I guess is my point. So yeah. talk about that a second. It's probably tough, to, it's, it's just tough to swallow. Right. Uh, you know, when, you, when you've got something a little nagging, you've, you've had this goal in mind, you know, over a year or so, how long have you been training? Uh, sometimes you just gotta take your medicine and, and, and lay off. And, and if that means, you know, drop down to the half or, or run a minute slower than your actual goal pace or, or whatever it may be, sometimes you just gotta take your right. medicine. Nobody wants to do it, but we want you running 50 years from now, not just for tomorrow. So be wise, there's other races. I think that's some good advice. Do you have anything else you want to add? No, I'm all good. Well guys, have a great race this weekend. It's gonna be a lot of fun and we're gonna see you downtown. Oh yeah. Take care.